As for the Bills, they are moving on after the team released a player who was only there for a few months. Dom Tibbetts continues our team coverage. And Dom, you were at Bills practice today where some of the team's leaders had the chance to share their thoughts about this. Yeah, Leah, today the first time we heard from Bills players about the tumultuous last 96 hours in Orchard Park. The common message we got was the fact that this team is ready to move forward, but the events that have unfolded over the last few days have led to what some have called healthy conversations in the locker room. It's adversity this team never would have expected to have to confront and deal with at any time this season, let alone less than two weeks before week one in Los Angeles. Veteran center Mitch Morris and safety Jordan Poyer both described what this team was going through and how they're trying to come together and turn their attention to the road ahead. You try not to have the court of a public opinion affect yourself, but it's, it's hard not to. You know what I mean? And it's just one of those things that in the end, it was a hard decision for the organization to make. I think they made the one that made the most sense. As, as a guy in the locker room, you know, it's tough. You know, some guys have kids and it makes you think of both situations. The adversity happens throughout the season and you know it's the teams that handle it the right way that that are going to come out on top and this is something that we got to be able to handle the right way to, to move past and, and, and you know look our, look look forward again uh, to a Thursday night game against the Rams. I think we got the right group of guys. I, I not think I know we got the right group of guys to do that in this locker room. Mitch Morris also gave a lot of praise to head coach Sean McDermott and how he handled Friday night's postgame press conference. Today, also the second consecutive practice for safety Jordan Poyer following his injury he sustained just a few weeks ago. We'll talk more about his impact coming up at 6. Leah.